All right, guys, how are you doing? We're going to do another one here. This is going to be on some authentic Chinese cooking. Now, I am going to change a few things like the size of stuff. Like all these, I, I sliced these ahead of time and then I thought about it. They would have left huge chunks. Kind of like over here, I did this. This is a couple of ingredients that will be going in. I'll go ahead and show you that since I'm here. Now, this here is how I slice it. This is how they slice their meat. Big chunks. Okay. Something else that I really enjoy that I, I never ate until I met my wife was this black fungus. I think that's what they call it. And just dried fungus is what they call it. And then the bean curd. I'm going to show you this. Push the piece out there, you see that? I can cover that with my fingertip, that piece. You see how big these things swell up? They're, they're at least five, six times their size after you dehydrate. I use hot water. Same way with this. It, it, it doesn't get too much bigger than bean curd, but it does get bigger, so you don't trying to tell you don't put too much in when you when you do it and I put hot water in you can use cold water but it would take a lot longer to rehydrate now I'm gonna pause you guys all right let's get this started and like always most important thing coffee I don't always use gloves, but when I cook Chinese, I kind of, boy, that was good. I kind of do. Because of one of the ingredients I haven't showed you guys. And I'm afraid that if you want this ingredients, you're going to have to find somebody that's authentic Chinese. You might be able to find it like Chinatown or somewhere like that. But this is, each family, I guess, makes their own different types of chili. And it's hot. It, it, it'll, it'll, it'll blast a hole right through your behind, I guarantee it, if you eat too much of this. But it is extremely good. And this one is actually made by a friend of my wife's. Um, my wife's sister makes one as well that I really enjoy. This one's okay. I mean, I, it, I like it, but it's there's she adds something to it that, that's different. And I don't care for it too much because it's kind of like chewy. But I can deal with it. Okay. I threw the mushrooms in. I'm going to throw some mint in here. No, I'm not. Why am I jumping ahead? We're going to put our little bit of oil. We don't use much. Man, they cook on high. A lot. And with very, very little oil. And that means... You gotta keep that moving. Now, I didn't put it on high. I put it on medium, kind of medium high. Because um, I'm not gonna be paying attention to this like they do. All right, now, let's get this meat in here. And the reason I had to dice this up for you guys like that to show you instead of just telling you is because that was one boneless rib. One. And I diced half of it up 
that's going in my dinner tonight. And then I'll either use the other half for my dinner tomorrow. I can make a soup or stew or something like that. I, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff I can make with it. Or I can make, use it for lunch. But I'm trying to explain that one piece of meat is, is she would have used that one piece of meat to feed up to four or five people. Um, okay, it's time for it. As soon as it starts to stick a little bit, throw a little water in there. Okay. Don't want to use too much oil. Now, I'll go ahead and rinse this and show you guys something else. here and do this. I love this. The core of this is like, the, oh, almost cut the tip of my glove off. Not a finger though. Um, but my wife does this. She cuts it too thick. And I want to tell you guys, part of the core of lettuce and, and, and lettuces and stuff that I used to throw away I actually found that it's got the best flavor and I really enjoy it. Now, we'll throw this on there. She does that as well. But we're going to just like this and then when I get down here she does the whole thing like I do the end of it notice further down I get I get a little thicker cut because this here it it takes longer to cook and it seems like when she does it it comes out perfect but when I do it it comes out unflipping cooked it's never cooked enough so I cut it thinner, and that's how I like it. Now we're going to be adding this. A little bit of water is not going to hurt nothing. It's just going to add right to this. We'll cook that water out of there. Let's get rid of this. She gets it at the Chinese store. So I'm going to wash this off and then I'll uh, give you guys a close up shot of some of it because I got more in the fridge. And uh, that way you can see what it looks like. Throw my little bit of mint in. this back in the fridge. I need to put this in and I'll show you guys that and that stuff. This is go back over here. This is something else that I'll show you that they don't add, I do. <sighs> OK. 
Okay, this is what the lettuce looks like right here. Let me get this one done. So, some of you probably already buy it, and it, it, it's uh, I like it. It's good. I mean, I haven't had any of the lettuce or anything from the stores there, Chinese stores that she buys from that I don't like yet or something. So, and my ingredients that I add, that they actually do add, and I would add them, but I only have one small one, I've been eating them all fresh, is uh, sun-dried tomatoes. Love them. I, I, I don't care. I can add them after she makes it, or like when I make it, I just throw them right in there. They can be hot, cold, whatever. Now this is the hot stuff. And if you do ever get any of this from the Chinese people, please, for God's sake, don't ruin your dinner. Try a little bit. And I mean, it, it, this stuff will, it'll burn it. It'll, it, it'll, it, it can, it'll blast the back end of your shorts off if you're not careful. I mean, it's bad. It, it's, I love it. I love hot. And it's hot. Good spot for that too. Throw that in the sink. All right, here we go. I should put that in there when I did that. I knew there was something else. This is the dark. It's a uh, <coughs> soy sauce. I almost called it Worcestershire. Anyway. Um, extremely good which doesn't take much i i don't like my food too salty if i do i like to add my salt you know besides in a i think this i don't have my glasses on i'm pretty sure it's oyster sauce very good and i go about the same as she does on this i comes out pretty thick so you takes a little bit to get a little out. Kind of like a good thick ketchup. That's the thickness. But man, it's got some good flavor. And taste this stuff. If you go and buy it, you know, make sure that it's something for you. But the thing is, is on that oyster sauce, I really like it a lot. But boy, I put some of that on my tongue and tasted it. Ooh, doggy, no. <laughs> Trust me, don't do that. Put it on something, mix it in a little bowl, make something then, then because you can put that right in cold. You don't have to cook that in like I'm doing. Um, you can put it right on afterwards. So you can put a little tiny bit on one bite and kind of mix it in a little because if you put too much, man, it'll, it'll backfire you. Not bad, I mean, it's just a strong taste. Now, the meat on this is sausage, pork, uh, uh, rib. Uh, you can use any kind of meat you want. We do it, or should I say she does it, with pork, chicken, duck, um, fish. She'll put a fish in here and, and cook it right in there, a trout. Uh, catfish. Um, it, it doesn't have to be any certain meat. And go into their houses and, and watching each of them cook and stuff. It's like the ingredients is up to you, pretty much. Nobody does anything the same. It's almost all like what I call country cooking. You just pretty much make it as you go and keep tasting. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to plate this up here in a minute. 
and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll take a little break here, but for you guys, it'll only be a split second. Alright guys, I had to bring you in here close while I was turning this. Take a look at it. Oh, oh yeah. Man, I can't wait. It's almost ready. Alright guys, let's enjoy. Let's check this out. <clears throat> Looks good. See, now this is the end of that lettuce. Don't waste it, man. I'm telling you, that is the best flavor of lettuce. Any of those types of, any any lettuce that I've tried so far, even stuff that she doesn't buy, that I buy at the store, I've been just barely trimming off that end and eating the rest of it, and it's awesome. And it makes your food go a lot further. I didn't put that much ingredients in here. Three um, mushrooms. I did put a handful of these, probably about 15 of these, but they're little tiny pieces when you put them in. So it's like nothing out of the bag. Um, the half a piece of meat, one of those ribs, a, a few pieces of the um, soybean, my, my tomatoes, um, and I got enough for today and tomorrow. Mmm, my God. What are you doing in here? Go. Go. Thank you. You know better. Go. Charge. That doorway is his limit. Pushes it when you when I'm eating, because I always try to save a piece of meat or two for him and Frenchie. You know, they gotta try it. A little bit of rice doesn't hurt them. But this, I wouldn't give them just straight this because I put way too much garlic in it. I put way too much. Um, it's one of the things I did forget to put in it is garlic. And if you want authentic, put garlic in it a lot. Can't believe I forgot it. It's sitting on the counter. But um, the hot spices I don't think would be good for them. But it always goes good with some homemade bread. Mm. Another one of those sun dried tomatoes. I don't know what it is about sun-dried tomatoes, guys, but... Mm. Alright. Let's take a break here. You guys are still here. Do me a favor. Please, subscribe to the channel. Give me some ideas. Um, as soon as I get things going... We'll be doing more and more consistent, but like always, you don't know what it's going to be, so you need to hit that little icon so you can get <clears throat> notification when I'm going to throw on another one, because you just don't know what I'm going to do next. Okay. All right, guys, I want you to have a nice day. Thank you for watching, and, you know, spread it around. Show it to your friends. Thanks, guys.